Okay, the next question is, how do I build my profile as a makeup artist? Our platform is really, you know, uh, a major part of how people find us and look for us and how we grow in the industry. There are lots of things that you can do. Social media is an incredibly powerful thing. Always start with Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Vine, anyone that you can and start to build um, build yourself up in those areas. It will serve you very, 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 very well. Um, start getting your clients locally and move beyond there. One of the greatest things that you can do is get a website. now. I should be ashamed of myself in saying that because my website is pretty much run into ruin and um, for me it has it hasn't been an issue because I have such a client base but I, I should absolutely positively 100% be ashamed of myself and I am going to remedy that because I'm I'm embarrassed even saying it um, but um, get yourself a website because nowadays paper portfolios they're not used so much anymore. People tend to look at websites and see those beautiful images and it's settled, it's set in stone, it's done. Um, if you can get yourself a great um, website, but you need great pictures for it. So the best thing you can do is develop a portfolio for your website. The way to do that is team up with a photographer, a really good photographer. Team up with some models and start creating looks that you all need and do all different sorts of looks. Team up with a hairstylist if you don't know how to do hair. Get it all done so that you have beautiful professional pictures that would rival an advertisement. That's one of the main ways you can build it. Have a beautiful website. Be easy to contact. Blog. Um, the more ways you can make yourself known and seen, the better off you'll be. And that's how you do it. Start with social media. Move on to a website. Get all the clients that you can. Start doing trade shoots to build your book, your online book, and you will grow in leaps and bounds. All right, now I have just been given what is the most difficult question of all for me. What is my favorite makeup look? Um, and it has a second part to that question. What are, what are my absolute product must-haves? What's difficult for me is what is my favorite makeup look. My favorite makeup look is always, it, it, can, it can change, it can be so different. Sometimes I just love a really well-defined eye, a nice bright lid with a sweep, through, sweep of contour through there. But I also love to play. I love teaming brightness with darkness. I love it. One of my favorite looks is a hot pink lid with a black smoky um, graduating in, blending in flawlessly black on the bottom, lots of lashes. I love it, a beautiful brow to complement it. I love I love playing with those, that marriage of dark and light. I love the smoky eye, I love it. I just love it. I love so many of them. I personally, as an artist, tend to be more eye-centric, meaning I, I tend to put my magic on people right here. Um, I'm not the sort who I've never really been the sort to want to go, ooh, it's a red lip for me. Do I use red lips? Sometimes, yes, I do. I, I designed, um, two years ago, I believe, I did a, a look for New York Fashion Week that um, was a very structured black eye and a red lip. And another time I did a smoky eye with a, re a, a smoky cat eye with a red lip. But normally it's all about right here for me and a soft lip. I love that. I just love it. But sometimes my mind changes as the seasons and the trends change. But I tend to love to play with the dark and the light, and um, I'm really now, particularly since I've been working so very much with um, my best friend and the winner of Project Runway, Leanne Marshall, and her, her bridal designs, I tend to be doing a tremendous amount of just clean, gorgeous makeups with a soft lip and a bright, wide open eye, and I love those. I love, I love the openness that that gives to a woman's face. Um, I love it. Um, and my must-have products, um, I cannot be without... Champagne eyeshadow by Three Custom Color. I have to have it. Um, I cannot be without Bali eyeshadow by NARS. It's the most perfect taupe. It's perfect. It's amazing for drop shadows, for brows, for crease colors. I, I, I can't be without it. I can't be without Mary Lou Manizer by The Balm. It's an amazing highlighter. Um, I absolutely cannot be without my primers. I love them. I have some primers right now that I adore by Cover FX um, for all all skin types. I have three of them, and um, the primers by Color Science. I am recently obsessed with. I love them. 
Um, there's a there's a lot of amazing 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 things on the market right now. But um, oh, one thing that I cannot ever be without is Eve Pearls Magic Salmon Concealer. It's what I'm wearing right now. Notice that I don't have a single you know dark circle under my eye. It's Eve Pearls remarkable product called Magic Salmon Concealer. It's something that combines color science. It's got it's a corrector, a treatment, and a concealer all in one. It's brilliant. I live for it, and you can get it from EvePearl.com. Um, you can get it at all the major makeup shows, and she herself is there, and we'll show you how to use it. She is a phenomenally gifted artist who makes some absolutely amazing products. Um, David Klosfeld and OCC Cosmetics, amazing, amazing products. The lip tars, love them. Um, his loose pigments, that's how I build those dramatic shades, things that I can't be without them, love them, and his, his airbrush supplies are amazing as well. Some um, remarkable, remarkable, remarkable things. Um, those are some products that I absolutely 100% recommend, hands down. Okay, so the next question is um, how do I stop um, under eye makeup from creasing and when I've used primers the makeup just doesn't seem to go on the same over it. Um, okay, so maybe you're using the wrong primer. Um, try the primers by Cover FX or Color Science. They're amazing. They're, they're absolutely amazing. They go up, they easily, effortlessly um, cover the area. Make sure when you're building your product you're not building your foundation or your concealer too thick. If you use something like Eve Pearl's Magic Salmon Concealer, the tiniest bit will neutralize the darkness and make that area perfectly smooth and even so that it's less likely to melt. Then you have to have to have to set it with a powder. A great powder like um, Cover FX's Setting FX or Makeup Forever's um, HD powder. Set it um, nice fluffy brush and just puff, you know, tap it right in. Right now I'm wearing concealer and I've set it with powder. That keeps my under eye incredibly bright um, and it never ever ever creases. Now if you're finding that your makeup is, you know, your eyeliner um, or your mascara is running, the question could be are you using eye cream before you put on your product. If you get eye cream on your eyelashes, your mascara is eventually going to slide right off because your eyelashes don't absorb the product like your skin does. So you have to be very careful to make sure that you are getting the product on your skin and not on your lashes. And um, you can also set your eyeliner. So if your eyeliner has a tendency to, you know, smudge or move during the day, that doesn't mean you can't take a little bit of your setting powder and tap it into your under eyeliner or your drop shadow just to set it there. And those powders are so fine, they're milled so many times that they disappear flawlessly into the skin. You can tap it right over a black eyeliner and still have a beautiful black eyeliner. Try those things and let me know exactly how it works for you. And try those primers. You can get samples of um, definitely the Cover FX ones from pretty much any Sephora and most um, major locations where they're carried across the globe. They're, they're amazing and you will probably love them. And try setting your products. You have to, have to, have to set them. Great question. All right, if eyeliner is difficult for you, um, I'm gonna tell you a tried and true way that you can make it really simple for yourself. Because yes, when eyeliner is not the same on both sides, yeah, it can change the shape of your face. It can, it can bring one eye up and one eye down. There's a lot of things that it can do. And mastering it can be um, sometimes more difficult on yourself than it can be on another person. What I want you to do is I want you to play a game called Connect the Dots. I want you to, you know, whether you're using powder or pencil, I want you to just, and sometimes it's actually easier, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you two ways. Um, go in, you know, right when you're in the mirror, put a dot there, put a little tiny dot, and by dot I mean itty bitty line. Itty bitty line, press right against the lashes. Itty bitty line, itty bitty line, itty bitty line, itty bitty line, and then take and connect all those dots and you'll have a beautiful smooth line. It's a little bumpy, 
take a angle brush and smooth it right away. Take a little powder, smooth it. Perfect and it's set. Repeat on the opposite side. Now, that same exact thing can be done with powder. P boom, 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 boom. Now, if you want to start to create a wedge, do that. And then when you get out here to the outer section, just start to build it up, build it up, build it up a little bit, build it up. And then you could easily, boom, put a sweep on it, put a cat sweep. But the best thing that you can do is start by connecting the dots. One little area, one little area, one little area. And there's something I want you to take out of your vocabulary. You say, I can't do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. The only thing that's stopping you is you. And if you believe you can't and you get frustrated, you'll never be able to do it. I had the hardest time when I was starting makeup. Ugh, I hated doing lips and cheeks. For some reason, I just had this natural knack for the eye. I could do the thinnest eyeliner in the world. I could, but give me a, one side of the lip. This is what my mouth looked like when I started to, I wish I were kidding. Or I'd put blush on one side here and the other side. So the whole face is looking, this is what my models would look like when I, awful. I guarantee, I guarantee you're not doing to people what I was doing to people. So I know you're, I know you're leagues ahead of me. Um, but eventually I just kept playing with it. I just kept looking at it. I kept practicing. I kept getting in there and I kept saying, okay, I screwed it up. I'm going to consider it research. I did a little more research. It didn't work out. Let me do a little more research. And then all of a sudden you get it and it sticks. I promise you, you will get it and it will stick. That is my absolute promise to you. Just try the connect the dots method, okay? And then let your dots be a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And then next thing you know, your dot's gonna be one line. But you'll get there. Try with the dots, let the dots grow and let the dots become a line. I promise you, you will get it. I promise. The next question, and the easiest one of all, is where am I from? I am, I, I've lived in New York City for, God, oh my God, um, over 20 years now. And um, I was born and raised in Western Massachusetts in, um, in the mountains, in the Berkshire Mountains, that I, I still love very, very, very much. And um, I've been very fortunate to travel the world, so I, I've learned a lot about um, other cultures and makeups in other cultures. And um, I am uh, I am a true New Yorker, I guess now. And that's that's me, and that's where I'm from. Thank you for asking. Well, this was a lot of fun. Those were some pretty darn fantastic questions, and I had a lot of fun answering them for you. Now, I certainly hope that this will happen for us all again, and if it does. Have some great questions ready for me. Um, one thing I do want to ask you to do, guys, practice, have fun, have the time of your life. We're very fortunate, every single one of us, to work in the beauty industry. Um, we get to have fun and bring joy and lightness into people's lives every day, and, and we're all very lucky. So keep having a great time with that, and thank you for trusting me to answer some questions for you. Have an amazing day. Keep making the world a more beautiful place, and I will see you, every single one of you, very soon. Bye-bye.